I'm ready. I'm ready to do compression testing on this uh, Mazda. Whenever you buy a used car, a used motorcycle, a used snowmobile or ATV or anything with an internal combustion engine, even a boat motor, I do recommend that you remove the spark plugs and check the engine's compression. Then, once you have the number, uh, there. Once you have a number for all of the cylinders then uh, you can compare it to the specs in your manual. In this video I'll show you how to do this compression testing, fairly straightforward and this one's gonna be in PSI, the outer bigger black numbers are PSI, the inner numbers are uh, kilopascal times 100. Uh, if you have a, yeah we're not gonna do it in metric okay, we're gonna do it in PSI and uh, I have removed the spark plugs from these four holes here one two three and there's the fourth one what you what you're looking for is oily spark plugs if it's dripping with oil basically don't even test for compression just flee don't look back okay because that means there's oil in the upper part of the engine where there's electrical wiring and where there shouldn't be any oil in the first place but these spark plugs look dry enough and just wait for the camera to focus Well, maybe that way. There we go. And other than sooty, here at the end of the terminals are looking fairly clean and nice. So sooty is fine, and uh, even so, it's barely any soot here where the spark is uh, being generated, and the electrode is there in good shape. Nothing is molten or distorted. So take out the spark plugs. For that, you're gonna need a spark plug wrench, which is just a long socket with a or a what a socket uh, handle with an extension and then this uh, oops let me just put it down there and then this uh, spark plug wrench which has a rubber mm, can't see it it's a black rubber so it's got some black rubber inside that kind of uh, wraps around this uh, porcelain thing here the insulation so it uh, doesn't damage the spark plug and then uh, so these spark plugs here are in good condition. I'm gonna put this one on top of this camera bag here so we can see it from inside and uh, all the spark plugs are removed all I need to do is crank the engine and take a reading. It takes uh, two or three crankings for the pressure to build up. Uh, we kinda can see the gauge but uh, alright just stay there and watch what happens. That's good enough. Take the key out and let's take a reading. There. Well, this one reads a little less than 180, uh, 150, 60, 70, just a little over 175, but not yet 180. How about 177? Okay, on this one. There, 177. Okay. And uh, what I do with that 177 is I draw a picture here and I record the information. Those are the four spark plugs. 177 here. The previous one was 165. They are close enough. I'm looking for, uh, obviously, a number from the specifications. I'm gonna have to look it up online somewhere. What this measurement should be and uh, I just hand tighten this gauge in oh yeah here is a pressure release button on it and then just just hand tighten it in and take it out like so and if the compression is up to specs and all four of the cylinders on this four cylinder engine perform the same way there there's the nice adapter at the end then uh, this is in good order if all four are kind of close to be the same. The adapter here has to be the same size as the spark plugs threaded portion there and they kind of have to match. That's the only way to do this. Have fun, get your hands dirty, experiment, find the specs numbers. It's fairly easy and pain-free.